everyone, welcome to phase two of the Final Fantasy 1 event. Uh, let's go through the relics, shall we? The next lucky draw is coming out soon, so I don't expect to do a draw for this one. I don't expect many people to do a draw for this one, but you may lack Final Fantasy 1 synergy, so maybe you will consider it. Uh, I kind of heavily advise not to do it, because I'm guessing this Sid mission might be pretty damn easy. I haven't tried it out yet, obviously, but we'll see. I guess you should give it a try first before you draw but that's just my opinion uh your opinion could be pretty different you might be like oh my god lustrous shield <laughs> like me i like lustrous shield because i like captain america and that reminds me of captain america <laughs> okay attack 17 we've gone through this relic before holy and non-elemental attacks to one target uh and holy best abilities deal between one and five Physical, holy, and non elemental attacks to one target. The number of attacks dealt depends on the used defense. So you can imagine this one being pretty good with his BSB as well. I mean, not his BSB, his OSB, sorry. Uh, Crystallize, deal two, physical, holy, and non elemental attacks to all targets. Temporally raise the user's defense a moderate amount, and that's what is the key to his damage for his OSB as well. Besides, always the. Besides the end holy as well. Ogre Killer, I have this one, 128 attack, it's a pretty good one, basically the opposite of Paladin Cecil's one, so he has a drain and two physical, two ranged physical dark attacks to all targets, and of course the end dark. Going through these relatively quickly because that obviously is repeats from last time. Okay, new characters, Broom, Matoya, is that how you say it? Uh, so she's the old lady in Final Fantasy 1. I, I looked at her port- like, right here she looks so cute, right? But then like, when you look up her actual portrait, she looks so freaky. Deal 8 magic fire, ice and lightning attacks to one target, grant haste and burst mode to the user. Deals 10 if the target has a slight weakness or is vulnerable to fire, ice or lightning. So you may be able to use imperils with this, which is pretty fun. First abilities deal 4 magic, fire and ice attacks to one target. Second one deal 4 magic, fire and lightning attacks to one target. Reminds me of uh, Lulu's BSB as well. So yeah, pretty damn good damage. Maybe... Would you include this in your mage team? Probably, actually... Well, it doesn't have a secondary effect. That's the problem with these kind of relics. It's just pure damage. I wouldn't rate this pretty high to be honest, but sometimes you just want a lot of damage, such as Maria's BSB, which is absolutely absolutely crazy. I've seen Maria's BSB do a ton of damage, especially in multiplayer. It's absolutely crazy. Black Robe, is this? Yep, another one of the Witches one. Magic 17, Mine 17. Temporarily raise the attack and magic of all allies a moderate amount. Grant the Major Region. Okay. Is this good? Well, it's kind of... Uh, the first thing I think of is Onion Knight's BSB. And obviously this doesn't stack with Onion Knight's BSB, so... I guess this is kind of meh if you already have Onion Knight's BSB. But if you want to include this chick in your party without Onion Knight, then yeah, it's a totally different story. So it's hard to evaluate that depending on your relics. But if you don't have anything like it, then yeah, of course, it's pretty good. Okay, another one for Garland. Gigant Axe. 134 attack, deal 5 physical dark and non-elemental attacks to all targets. Temporarily lower their attack and defense a large amount. That's pretty good because it's AoE as well. Super, super good. Um, because it's a mixed, because Garland is a knight slash dark user slash, I think that's it, right? Knight slash dark user. So putting a support ability on top of that makes him a little bit more of a hybrid. So this could be pretty damn useful if you're not using Garland for a full attack character. So yeah, that's a pretty damn good relic. Ancient Loot. This one we were supposed to get, there was like an instrument, instrument relic banner a while ago, along with this as well. <laughs> so, 
It's good that we're getting it now, I guess. Pretty good um, range of stats. Restore a large amount of HP to all allies, grant them haste. This would Sarah. I guess... Well, the thing is with Sarah, I already have her magic blink and heal, so with this, it's like... Alright. Because it gives her two Medicas. The other Medica is a Cura Medica, I think. Or Curaga. No, it's a Cura Medica. This one's Curaga. So adding this onto an arsenal may not be so good because you'll probably have Haste Daga. If you don't have Haste Daga, then this is obviously a bit higher on the list, but you want to cast Haste Daga in the beginning of the battle. So it's not so good this. I don't really like these ones because you can't really cast it at the beginning unless you really need to heal it from the beginning. Okay. Um, Maracas. I think Maracas. Oh my gosh. I, I just can't... It's so weird, these instruments. Uh, okay. 82 attack, magic 125, mind 63. Uh... The thing is with Echo, she is kind of a hybrid. She does black magic, a little bit of white magic, and she's a dancer as well. So Marekas may suit her as well. Adds a small chance to confuse, take it as you will. Deal three magic non-elemental attacks to all targets, temporarily lower their attack. I mean their magic and resistance to large amounts. Pretty unique debuff, which you may be able to utilize, especially in a magic party. Because resistance down is super, super good. So it just adds on another another debuff to the list. So yeah, I I really do like that one. Helm of Light and Dark Plate also makes a return. Let's do the 100 gem draw. Sorry, I'm a little bit iffy on this banner. I'm just surprised at the instruments, really. <laughs> it's just so weird to me. Okay, 100 gem draw. Let's do it. Lustrous Shield, please, Mog. Pretty please. Or a three star. Three star's fine as well. I haven't seen one of these in a while, actually. Poison Rod. Small boost of poison damage. I... I really need to look up what the, these three stars actually do for my free-to-play account now. And... I forgot to mention that there will be another beginner's guide probably today-ish sometime, so I really hope you're enjoying the series. And... If you do like the series, please give the videos a thumbs up so I know if you want more. Or dislike it if you don't want more. So I have an indication there. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Hope you have a good one. And peace out.